Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. And today is June 8, uh, 2020 and it's the Feast of Our Lady of Cumbermere. Okay, and uh, um, this, this, this feast is not being celebrated in, in the Universal Church and it's not in the Roman Missal, but it's being celebrated by a religious community called Madonna House. Okay, uh, and they're located in Cumbermere. Uh, so where is Cumbermere? Cumbermere is uh, two and a half hours northwest of Ottawa, uh, Canada. And, uh, and there, um, uh, the founder of Madonna House is Catherine Doherty and with her husband, Eddie Doherty. And they started uh, this community in Cumbermere in 1948. Okay, and right now, uh, the, the, the community ha have grown so much. Um, they have more than 200 uh, members. Uh, lay men, lay women, um, <clears throat> and also uh, priests, okay? And they're in uh, 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 field houses, three field houses internationally, uh, five field houses in the United States, and nine field houses in Canada, okay? And, uh, and, their, and their training headquarter is in uh, Cumbermere, Ontario. Okay, and in Cumbermere, Ontario, the Companions of the Cross have their own spiritual formation house there. Okay, it's up the hill, and uh, and I did my spiritual formation uh, with the Companions of the Cross when I on my on my second year as a seminarian, and I was there from two thousand nine to two thousand ten. And I remember I would go down to visit uh, the Our Lady of uh, Cumbermere statue uh, every week. Okay, and, and what really attracted me to this, uh, uh, statue is, uh, you could see, uh, the, the, Our Lady, um, reaching out her arms. It's like she's running, uh, forward and, and really running after her children, you know, especially those who are, uh, especially those who are in need, you know, the, the poor, the marginalized, the neglected, uh, those who are suffering from any physical, mental and emotional illness, uh, those who are suffering from, from, from addiction. And, and for me, um, I, I just found so much, uh, comfort and consolation going to that statue every week. So I told her, I, uh, I told her to really to pray for me, uh, uh, for in, in my journey, uh, towards priesthood and that when I, uh, get ordained, I will come back to Cumbermere and give thanks to her. So I got ordained on June 6, 2015, so that was a Saturday, and I celebrated my first Mass here at St. Mary's Parish, Ottawa, which is the home church of the Companions of the Cross on the Feast of Corpus Christi. And the following day, on June 8, I traveled going to Cumbermere. I brought some flowers and, uh, uh, and put it uh, on, uh, under the statue of Our Lady of Cumbermere and uh, to really give thanks to her. And uh, I was uh, so privileged to be able to celebrate my second Mass at Vianney House, which is the residence of the Madonna House priest. And what a, what a best way, what a better way, you know, there's no other better way to give thanks to, to Mary by celebrating a Mass for her, okay? And uh, so if you want to check out uh, Madonna House, uh, they, they're like the cousins of the Companions of the Cross. And, uh, they live a simple life, you know, they, they, uh, they really live out the, the, the gospel in their every, in their ordinary life. And they also like, uh, welcome guests, you know, hopefully, uh, when the restrictions has been lifted up with this lockdown, uh, they're able to, uh, welcome guests, you know, from all over the world to stay there up to one year. Um, and, uh, I was, uh, also, um, privileged to be able to stay with them for, three weeks, I think uh, it was back in year 2010, okay? And uh, so, uh, if you want to check them out, it's uh, their website is madonnahouse.org. So be a living saint, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.